To be totally honest, when we found out that we were going to be able, be able to reopen, I was I'm like, oh, yay, this is awesome. And then the anxiety kicked in where I was thinking, oh, man, we're going to reopen. When Raquel Cousy, owner of Jiu-Jitsu Academy, The Stronghold, received news that she could reopen her doors again, it wasn't all that simple. So there were lots of different policies I had to figure out and try to figure out ways to still be legal and be able to operate. So we had to have more cleaning stations and had to have things marked out on our mats to show that we were six feet apart. When you come into the, the gym, like you're able to train with everybody, everyone, but now it's you have to be assigned one partner for a long period of time, and if they can't train, then you can't either. Now, with more health regulations implemented in her gym from COVID-19, Raquel went from teaching an average of 80 students a day to now just 16. How are we going to accommodate all of our students but still be um, cost-effective in our time? It is going to be tough transitioning right now, um, being able to, or having to be here so much longer to be able to, to serve the amount of people we used to. Prior to this, the stronghold was forced to close in March, leaving Raquel and her family with no income as they resorted to online Zoom classes. In all this, the first two months, I actually kind of shut down, like mentally and physically even. I was working 17 to 18 hour days uh, prior to COVID. Once we shut down, I was thinking like, what are we going to do? This is our my livelihood and how I feed my family. So not being able to work is a huge thing. But despite these challenges, Raquel reopens her academy with a hopeful mind and is ready for her gym's new beginning, a place that has become a second home for many. Our students were really, really happy that we were open. But again, it was bittersweet because it wasn't the same still, but it's baby steps, which we're really excited to, to move forward with. Even Michaela, Raquel's nine-year-old daughter and class instructor, is excited to regain a new sense of normalcy to her life. Michaela, how has the pandemic affected your life? Not being able to breathe with my face mask on. When the gym was opening, how are, how are you feeling? Happy because my, I get to see my friends again. Raquel hopes that community members come together to support small businesses like hers and continue to do so in the future. If you know someone like one of your family or friends that own a business, it's great to uh, go to them first. Um, the more that we are able to support local, the better. For PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, I'm Yonso Sok in San Diego, California.